Well, some Texas farmers finally seeing the fruits of their labor again a year after the 2021 winter freeze. Channel 5's Alyssa Cole spoke with a local organic vegetable farmer to learn more about how he recovered and how his business is doing today. You're looking at cilantro. Um, this is like a 60 day crop. 200 acres of vibrant green vegetables from herbs, celery, kale and broccoli sprouting and ready for harvest. While these leafy crops are edible today, that wasn't the case this time last year when South Texas was swept with freezing temperatures. We were doing really, really well as, as a company and the business was great and we looked like we might get ahead and then all of a sudden we just lost everything and we had no idea what to do. Jed Murray owns farms and operates Tanaza Organics, an organic vegetable farm in Los Fresnos, and his crops are looking much better today. These start to turn purple and in reddish color when they get frozen, and then the leaves will start to break down and turn to decay. His colleagues on the citrus side of the farming industry also took a big hit. This year, they're only going to have about 30% the volume of a normal crop. Next year, it'll be closer to 70%, and the year after that, which is the third year in recovery, they should be closer to 100%. Now, that's a lot of what ifs. Dante Galassi, president and CEO of the Texas International Produce Association, says some farmers were even forced to leave the market because of their losses. But luckily for Murray, the sun came out again and his young crops began growing once it got warmer. But it took a lot of time and a creative detour on his part. The first half of our season goes and pays off all of our vendors, pays off all of our, uh, our costs. The second half is where we have the chance to make some money then for our, our families and to live. We lost that chance. And so um, I started a landscaping business just to, to bring in some cash flow on a, on a daily basis. The community even stepped up and gave them a boost. Our bankers called us the first day after the freeze and said, hey, um, you know, what can we do? Uh, we're here for you, you know, um, you're part, you know, you're part of our community. Now they're successfully halfway through their 20 week season with hopes to do much better this year than the year before. Alyssa Cole, Channel 5 News.